Like we know, modern distractions like TV and social media overshadow science's vital role in understanding and safeguarding our world. I've asked recently AI, would you recommend the most popular science communicators from around the world to people? Number one, Neil deGrasse Tyson, an astrophysicist known for his engaging explanations of space-related topics. Number two, Bill Nye, known as the science guy. He's famous for his television show aimed at making science fun and accessible for kids. Number three, Brian Cox, a physicist and TV presenter known for his documentaries on physics and astronomy. Number four, Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist who often discuss futuristic concepts such as time travel and the multiverse. Number five, Jane Goodall, a primatologist who has made significant contributions to our understanding of chimpanzees and environmental conservation. And what if you focus on women only? Number one, Emily Grassley, creator of The Brain Scoop, YouTube channel where she explores natural history and museums. Number two, Jane Goodall, renowned for his groundbreaking work with chimpanzees and her advocacy for conservation. Number three, May Jamison, the first African-American woman to travel in space. She's also a physician, engineer, and science communicator. Number four, Eugenia Cheng, a mathematician who makes complex mathematical concepts accessible through her books and public speaking. Number five, Hope Jaren, a geochemist and author known for her memoir Lab Girl and her advocacy for women in STEM fields. Historically, male science communicators have often been more visible due to systematic biases and underrepresentation of women in STEM fields. I asked AI, do you have a few tips on how to engage people and include women in science? First of all, provide role models. Highlight the achievements of female scientists and science communicators as role models. Representation matters and seeing women in science can inspire others. The second, promote hands-on learning, means learning by doing, create interactive and hands-on activities that engage participants in science. This can help break down barriers and stereotypes, making science more accessible and appealing to everyone, regardless of gender. Number three, encourage curiosity. Foster an environment where questions are encouraged and curiosity is celebrated. This can help create a sense of inclusivity and encourage people, especially women, to explore their interest in science without fear of judgment. Number four, offer mentorship and support. Provide mentorship opportunities and support networks for women interested in STEM fields. Support networks can offer a sense of community and belonging. Number five, address bias and stereotypes. Be proactive in addressing bias and stereotypes that may discourage women in science. Promote awareness and education about unconscious bias and work to create an inclusive and supportive environment for everyone. Number six, make science relevant and meaningful. Highlight the real-world applications, showing how science can address pressing issues and improve people's lives can help make it more relevant and meaningful, attracting a diverse range of participants, including women. By implementing these strategies, you can help engage people in science and create a more inclusive and diverse scientific community. Look around and support women in science in your country. Do you know any? Thank you for listening and if you think it was helpful for you, please subscribe and stay with me for longer.